All right, part number three to the little card series. If you don't know what I'm on about, uh, I'm going to put a link up here uh, to the first video in the series. Basically, it's um, the mindset of somebody that's successful at business is completely different uh, to the mindset of someone that just has a normal nine to five job. So if you want to get better at business, you want to become more su successful, you have to learn these traits and mindsets. And um, as I've been learning more of these, um, my bank account has just been going up and up and up and up. And as you learn more of these, the same can happen to you too. So um, one good way to memorize some of this stuff is to, is, to, is to write it down. So I like to write it on these blank playing cards. If I ever read something or hear something, uh, I think it sounds like a good idea, I'll write it down. And um, you know, as we get older, it takes longer for us to learn new things. So, you know, sometimes you have to read the same thing over and over and over again, uh, just for it to sink in. So this is one little way that works for me. Uh, so I'm gonna go through with these. Hopefully this is gonna be the last part. We're gonna try and get through these as quick as possible. Um, if not, maybe there's gonna be another part after that. But anyway, enough waffling. Uh, so we've done that one in the last one. Uh, there is no right and wrong. There's no black or white. So um, what that means is that you always have to be open that you could be wrong on everything. Those that are really, really opinionated and have really strong opinions and are really stuck in their way, uh, those are the ones that will never progress. They're going to be stuck at whatever level they're at and they're going to stay there. Because remember, if you're earning, say, I don't know, 50 grand a year and you've got that know-it-all mentality, you think you know it all, uh, you're going to stay there. You're never, you're never going to get out of it. You're never going to expand to get anywhere else. So the reason you're stuck at that 50, 50 grand a year level is because there's stuff that you don't know and stuff that you do know, you might, you might have the wrong opinion of, of it. So you must always be open that you could be wrong on absolutely everything. doesn't matter what aspect in life it is. doesn't matter what. Even if you think you're 100% right, you always have to be open and think to yourself, there could be that 1% chance that I'm wrong. Look at all the facts, put everything together and base your opinion on that and then realise that everything that you know is just an opinion really. And um, you know, you could always be wrong. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. So, you know, sometimes if you try and figure stuff out for yourself, it can take you years and years and years and years and years when you could just learn from somebody that's made that same mistake before or somebody that's learnt it before. You know, for example, stuff that's written in a book. You know, if you try and learn that stuff by just by yourself, by your own experience, it can take a lifetime when you could just pick up a book, read it and just download all the information from somebody else into your head. So, um, you know... Sometimes education can cost money, like schools, universities, colleges, buying online courses. But, um, you know, trying to figure this stuff out for yourself can end up costing you a lot, lot more. Not even just in money, but in time as well. Uh, learn by osmosis, the law of 33%. So just to, I'm just going to go over that quickly. You could write a whole, whole book about this. But basically, learning by osmosis is learning by kind of being in the environment and naturally picking up these things you know not not trying to to learn not trying to force yourself to learn you know trying to force yourself to learn and it, it kind of it's more difficult to absorb information but by putting yourself into that position and just naturally over time learning stuff uh is the best way that it's going to download itself into your brain for example when like an animal like a bird teaches like it's little baby birds how to fly the baby birds, they're just learning it as they go along. Like when you and I, we're learning to walk. You know, you're just trying a little bit. You see you see parents and you see other people walking and you try it and you just pick it up without even thinking about it. The same when you're learning to speak. You know, you, you think you, whatever language it is that you're speaking now, you can speak it fluently without even thinking about it. And you never even gave it any thought. You just learnt it because you learnt it through osmosis. But then think about this. You, you go to school and you try and learn, say, French. And it's so much harder. It's so much more difficult when you try and learn it in that way. So by learning it by osmosis, just by surrounding yourself with people that are doing what you want to do, that is the best way to learn. And it's not always practical. You know, if you want to learn from millionaires, you, um, you know, it's not always practical that you can spend your life around millionaires. So, you know, sometimes books 
Uh, watching video stuff like that is like the next best thing. People with a closed mind have an open mouth. <laughs> Often when people are really, really self-opinionated, uh, they shout the loudest. But their mind is just closed. So, um, you know, they're not, there's no point arguing with people like that because uh, well, they've got their belief and that's it. They're stuck in their own ways uh, and they're not really open to learn anymore. And usually people that are loud um, and very vocal and very self-opinionated usually have a very small bank account. So don't let that be you. Don't try to teach ignorant people. They have to learn the hard way. Uh, yes, uh, I've learned that myself. You know, if, if you're trying to teach people that don't want to know, there's no getting through to them. It's like when you try and recommend somebody to set up their own business and they don't want to listen, there's no getting through to them. So, uh, you know, they've got to find it out the hard way. Let them try whatever it is that, they, that they're doing. And if it doesn't work, then they've got to kind of figure out the hard way. So if they're ignorant, if you're trying to give them advice and they're not listening, just it's best just to let them get on with it. It's no point falling out with people. A and B students work for C students. That is so true. When you see all the kids at school that are doing really well and they get all the A grades, uh, they end up working for people that have set up businesses that have usually got worse grades. How well you do at school is not an indication of how well you're going to do in business. A lot of the time, uh, those that do worst at school end up running the most successful businesses. So just because somebody gets all the A grades in school does not mean that they're the one that's going to have the successful life. Not always, sometimes. It doesn't matter if you fall, it's whether you get up. And that was Michael Jordan that said that. So, you know, when you're learning new things, when you're doing business or anything, you know, it's doing sports or whatever, you know, you're going to fail, you're going to do things wrong. Uh, it doesn't matter when you get it wrong, it's whether you get up or not. That, that's what counts. So, you know, I don't even call it failing. You know, I'll just call it experimentation. I'll call it learning. So you try things, it doesn't work, you try something else. It's just experimentation. And, and I'll just see it as feedback. So, you know, as long as you don't make the same mistake over and over and over again, uh, I don't call it a mistake. I'll just call it learning. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. That's, that's, the, that's the way I look at it. What comes easy won't last, and what lasts won't come easy. So if you're looking for that get-rich-quick scheme, make a ton of cash with just hitting a couple of buttons, it's, it's not going to happen. You know, and if you want to build a proper business, uh, you want to be successful, you have to uh, create a product or a service of value to others that other people are going to want to buy from you. And, you know, if something's too easy, it means too many people can do it. There's going to be too much competition and nobody's going to make any money. It's normally easier. The harder something is, it's easier to make money at it. If something's too easy, it's almost impossible to make any money at it. Uh, Bruce Lee said, if you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. Yep, para paralysis, but over-analysis. You, you keep thinking about something too much. I, I think I might do it. And you look at every little aspect and you end up paralysing yourself and you never do it. So sometimes, if you get a good idea or you think it's a good idea, just give it a go. Otherwise, you could procrastinate for the rest of your life, never get it done and just miss out on your hopes and dreams. Uh, so yeah, so this is one. This is this is my saying. Sometimes we win, sometimes we learn. We only fail when we quit, and quitting is a choice. So uh, there you go. We pretty much said that a minute ago, anyway. Grind equals life. If you give up on the grind, you give up on life. So when you want to be successful, you got to keep grinding. You got to keep working. You got to keep going at it. It's it's not easy. Uh, but it can be fun, you know, so like building a successful YouTube channel, for example, it's great fun, but it's a lot of work. I put in many hours, sometimes over 12 hours a day, every single day, 24-7. So if you want to do well at something, you're going to have to grind at it. Nothing worth having comes easy. Uh, I think we've had that one before. I think we're coming round here now. Uh, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Uh, uh, some of these are duplicates. The thing about smart people is that they seem crazy to dumb people. That was a saying by Stephen Hawking. So, you know, a lot of the time, if you've got a great idea, people are going to try and put you down and put you off. Uh, sometimes it's just, they're dumb and they just can't see your dream. And then, in fact, it can be you that could turn that dream into a reality. Uh, Albert Einstein said, Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So, you know, with people that want to make a load of money, but they never try anything new, they just keep doing the same stuff over and over and over again. 
they're never going to succeed. If you want a different result, you have to put in a different input. So doing the same thing all over again, you're just going to get the same result, and yeah, that's insane. You can't do the same thing and expect a different result. You can't judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. So that, that is so true when it comes to school. You know, when I went to school, uh, some of the teachers used to say that I'm a, I'm a bit of a dumbass, maybe not in those words. And I've got, you know, like the A students, they sort of look down on you and they sort of look down on you and think that you're like, you're stupid because you're not doing well in school. But just because, you know, I'm not good at spelling. So, you know, I get spellings wrong. It's not my strong point. I hate paperwork. I hate sitting and just doing paperwork and all that stuff. I just can't do it. I hate it. But that's not to mean that I, can be, that I can't be good at other things. So, you know, everybody's good at something and, you know, and you just have to find whatever it is that you're good at. So nobody's going to be the, good at everything, you know. So, you know, you cannot judge a fish by its ability to, tr to climb a tree. So a fish is absolutely useless at climbing a tree, but obviously it's great at swimming. So, you know, the same can be true with you. Find your strengths and build upon them. There's no point trying to get good at something that you just can't be good at. You know, if you're like a tiny little person, you're never going to be good at basketball. You're never going to be a Michael Jordan. So you're going to waste your time giving all your energy at that, unless you're doing it as a hobby or whatever. Uh, an old Amish saying, a fence that goes up quick comes down fast. So we spoke about that a little bit earlier. But, you know, anything worth having doesn't come easy. You know, if you're looking for that get rich quick thing, it's not going to last. If you do manage to stumble across, by the way, you know, sometimes you might stumble across something that's going to make you a lot of money, like overnight. Sometimes that happens. But the thing is, it's not going to take long and everybody's going to figure out what it is. Everybody's going to start doing it and then there's no money in it. Instead, put your effort into something that requires a bit of effort to build and then you've got barriers to entry that stops other people doing the exact same thing. So you want something that's a little bit difficult. You don't want anything to be too easy. He who makes no mistakes makes nothing at all. That's Albert Einstein, and I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So, you know, if, if you never start a business, so you never make any mistakes, then you'll never have a business. But, you know, by starting a business, you're going to make mistakes. Things are going to go wrong. But it's your ability to think through the problems and to find a solution, is, which is what's going to make you successful. You know, many, many highly successful businessmen have failed multiple times. On average, uh, if you look at all these multimillionaires and billionaires, it's taken them 10 business attempts to get to the business that they've succeeded in. And it's the same with most people. It's the same with me. I've, start, I've tried, I've forgotten how many businesses I've tried. It probably is about 10. And all the early ones, they all used to fail. But you persist with it. You stick with it. You learn from your mistakes. You learn from others. And, and through it, you grow a better person. And you're just going to get closer and closer to your goals every step of the way. Paralysis by overanalysis. We spoke about that before. You keep overthinking something, you just don't get anything done. Just, just get on with it. You know, Richard Branson said, screw it, let's do it. There's a whole book about that. I've got the book over there somewhere. Get an idea. Uh, do a little bit of research and just say to hell with it and just, just do it. Uh, that's a black or white one. We've done that one. Education. Uh, yeah, all right, that is it. We've done all the cards by the, by the looks of it, guys. So this is just a few that I've got. I've got many more. I've got more at home. And um, so just to plug my program quickly before we call it an end to this little video series, um, those that are super successful, especially those in the 1% and those that are really successful businesses and, and looking at millionaires and multimillionaires, they think completely differently to the average person. Uh, so if you want to better yourself in business and you want to maybe get yourself into the 1% or maybe not even into the 1%, maybe you just want to better yourself, you want to make more money, you want to run your own business, you want to work for yourself, you have to start learning some of these habits and traits that the highly successful people have. And, um, you know, you've got to change that mindset. You've got to, some of the stuff that we've been taught our whole life, we've got to forget about all that and we've got to start again. So the program I've made, the 75 habits, or 75 habits that I've learnt over the time from reading many books, uh, from speaking to multi-millionaires and from stuff, testing this stuff myself and seeing what works, you know, to see what, what gets the results. Um, these 75 things are what really are going to help you in sort of make, you know, whatever business you want to start, it's going to give you that head start. Because if you try and run a business with the wrong mindset, it's going to fail. So first you've got to get your mindset straight. And the more of these habits and the more of these traits that people get, the more and more and more money they make. You know, the more that I've been learning, the, the quicker my bank account's been growing, the more successful my businesses have been. 
So, um, you know, there's a 30 day money back guarantee on this. The price is like crazy low anyway. I'm going to put a link to the program down below. You can jump in on there. Uh, you can try it out for 30 days. And um, basically, it's all in video format. All you got to do, watch one video a day. That's all you got to do. You can watch more if you like. And um, just, you can just make some notes and then go over, over the notes. You know, getting these sort of cards like this. Perfect. Uh, you know, each, each, um, each video in that program that I've made, you can get one takeaway from it and you can write it down, make a note. And you can just go over these every single day. And eventually, it's just going to burn itself into your brain and you're just going to start thinking more along the lines of like somebody that's more successful at business. You know, somebody maybe in the 1%, maybe even millionaires. So, um, you know, this is all stuff that you can learn. And it's all stuff that is probably stuff that you've never even thought of. And maybe you're the complete opposite. And without knowing these traits and habits, it's going to be almost impossible for you to succeed at any business. You know, be it eBay, selling on eBay, making YouTube videos or, or any other business, physical business, product or service based businesses. You know, if you've got the wrong mindset, it's not going to work. So you have to get your mindset right first. So, you know, give it a go. Uh, 30 day refund guarantee. You've got nothing to lose. If, if you decide you don't want it, one quick email to me and you're going to get emailed if you sign up on this program. You'll get an, the, the confirmation email you get. You can just email me back to that address. And then also in the program, the email is in there as well, clearly. So one email, just say, Kev, it's not for me. I want a refund. And I'll just refund you straight away as long as it's within the 30 days. You can't lose. You can't, you, 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 you can't lose. You know, you, you, can, you can have 30 days of, of getting some of this mindset stuff into your head completely free. And, you know, the only one here that, that can lose is really, is really me because I'm refunding you and you've, you've got my stuff for nothing. But, you know, I've got trust in people. I've got trust in the program. People that are in on the program, they love it. Um, I've, I think I've had like one or two refunds since I've had this program out. And I've had it out for a few months now. So people, for the most part, really love this program. It's really helping people boost their businesses. And, and you've got nothing to lose by trying it out. So, guys... Build yourself a better future and I will see you on the inside if, if you want to build yourself a better future.